on the St. John's men's basketball end. We're not sure yet who will be their go-to player, but it could be the grad student that transferred from Pittsburgh in Duran Johnson. Some of the pictures from Duran, and as he gets ready to go, he put up some very good numbers two years ago at Pittsburgh, and he comes to the St. John's program with a lot of experience, and I think itching to play and itching to sit down with us here at St. John's Basketball Media Day. And Duran, so much, thank you so much for being here from Baltimore, Maryland. The last time you played in the game, January 11th of 2014 with an ACL tear, more than anything, I think you must be itching to play. You even came here with a headband. You're the only guy wearing a headband for me today. Oh, definitely, man. You know, you know, I'm so I'm so hungry and I'm so motivated. You know, I sat down for two years. I missed a lot, and I'm just I'm definitely itching to get back out there and show the world what I got. You know, you've been out for a while, but players talk all the time about what they learn about themselves when their college career gets going what did you learn about your game at Pitt that you know you can bring to Queens I learned that you know just being an all-around player being a guy who was so unselfish who wasn't afraid to take a shot or miss a shot I always felt like the next shot was going to go in you know also being just an all-around team player you know making an extra pass installing confidence in my teammates doing doing everything possible just to show that how much I care you know, this uh, would appear to be a great fit for you coming here to St. John's because I'm sure you have professional aspirations. You're going to learn from one of the best small forwards that's ever played the NBA game, a Hall of Famer, Chris Mullen. What kind of impact has he had upon you in selling him on the program and certainly uh, early on in the practices and workouts you've had with him? Coach Mullen, you know, you know he, he, he's a great person, honestly, and, and that's on and off the court. And as far as being on the court, he just installed so much confidence in not just me, but in all 13 guys, it just had that confidence that if you're open, take a shot. You don't have to look over your shoulder. You don't have to be afraid of turning the ball over because he want that much confidence in his players to go out there and leave everything on the court and play your game no matter what. So, so, so being that alone, it just says a lot to me. And another all-time great player on your coaching staff, Mitch Richmond. What's it been like to pick his brain and just talk about the game of basketball and development with him? You know, it's been great. You know, every day in practice, Coach 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 Mitch, he, he's on the side, and he's he's giving confidence. He's making jokes. The same with Chris Mullen. You know, those guys they make practice fun because how hard we compete, how hard we compete, how hard we play in practice every day. You have those guys on the side cracking jokes or just laughing if you make a tough shot. They running over to you, giving you high fives and stuff like that. So it's a lot of enjoyment. But at the same time, we're getting things done and we're getting better as a team. And just having those guys is just a plus. And Deron, when you look at this group, it would appear on paper that you could be the go-to guy, at least early on, in terms of who's going to look to be the scorer of this team. How have you kind of looked at yourself? How are you going to fit in? And to have that mindset that I'm one of the older, experienced guys that has a scoring background. How have you kind of looked at yourself and thrown yourself into this mix and into your role? Um, I always kind of had that mindset to, to kind of be a go-to guy, to be the guy that the team looks to. But I also know that coming here with a group of 10 new guys, there's some good guys on our team. You know, a lot of them could play. You know, we have Marcus, we have Federico, we have Malik, Ron, Phyllis. It's a, it's, it's a lot of good guys. And you know, every day we're playing together, we're getting better together. And you know, none of us is selfish. We're all playing together, we're making an extra pass. And it's fun because I feel just as good making a good pass as I do making a shot. So just just that alone shows a lot that we're going, we're going to shock some people this year. Coach Mullins' associate head coach, Barry Rorson, otherwise known as Slice, your relationship with him I know is a big part of beginning the recruiting process here. But you have to be honest with us because at the top of the show we showed some moves his dancing moves. <laughs> Are you going to work with Coach on this in the coming months? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, you know, I got a little dance that I do. <laughs> uh -huh. I got a dance. That but I do Slice myself. might need some work now. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. He know I got him. That's my guy. Slice is my guy. I've known him. <laughs> we built a great relationship over the years. There I it know, is. But Ron. we need to address this because I see. I knew hey, Slice hey, had hey. some moves, but I've never <laughs> seen this at midcourt at an arena. Hey, that's Slice. You never know what you're going to get. You never know. You never know. But he's, he's, he's great, man. On and off the court, he's a great guy. He's a good guy. And I love being around him. I love being around the staff. It's a great program, man. I'm, I'm, I'm so ready. And, you know, another, another new role for you could be leading this large group of freshmen and sophomores in terms of example, work ethic. Uh, have you thought about that? Every action you take and make is going to be watched upon. How about that role from you? Yeah, definitely. You know, that, that, that is a big role. But, you know, coming from the University of Pittsburgh, 
I registered a year and I played with older guys like Ashton Gibbs, Trey Woodall, Lamar Patterson. So I had the chance to learn from those guys how to be a leader, what things to do, how to expect. So I, I learned a lot from those guys. And now when I'm in the position to do it myself, I kind of took the role from those guys to, to lead my young guys in the right direction. Philosophy-wise, what, what have you learned the most? You know, I, I know different head coaches, Jamie Dixon's going to be different than Chris Mullen, but maybe take us into one thing offensively and one thing defensively that's really stood out for you development-wise. Well, one thing offensively is I, I would say shot selection. Early on, my early, my early, my early, when I was a young, maybe a freshman coming in, my shot selection, I was just – I, li I like the score, you know, so when I came in the game, it was no hesitation for me to put up a shot or to try to score for the team. And I would just say offensively, just my biggest thing was shot selection. And on the defensive end, you know, just being in the right place, knowing that if you don't defend, you won't play. College basketball is very different. It's, it's quicker, so if you're not in the right, right in the right space, the right spot on the floor, a guy can make you look bad, so. I want to stay away from that. And Duran, as you sit here next to us, you know, you're all of the 6'6", 2'10", that you're listed. What's your most comfortable position? Because it sounded like from Chris Mullen that there's going to be a lot of flexibility, and I think including for yourself, we might see you play several different positions on this team. Yeah, uh, definitely. Normally going in, I was always a shooting guard, a two guard. But at this point, I, I don't really care what I have. Two, three, four, I'm just, I'm just ready to get back out on the court. You know, I know sometimes – and coach mentioned this as well. Sometimes the media makes more about preseason rankings and coaches polls more than the players and coaches even yeah. care about. But I wonder behind the scenes, has this been a motivation for you guys or, or is this not even coming to the conversation? Um, it actually been, you know, I had my own motivation and I always, I always been a guy who came from the bottom who, who, who was overlooked and just actually just knowing that we're picking last, it, it doesn't bother me. It just add more fuel to the fire. And I know that, I'm, that my guys, we come in every day, we work hard, we compete, and we're getting better day by day. And regardless of where the rankings are, I know that we'll be where we need to be when it's all said and done. And Duran, last thing from us, uh, so who's the young player right now you feel like, you know what, this newcomer, he's ready to play right now. Who's the guy that, that's truly blossomed so far or, or is in the midst of that? Oh, man, that's, that's tough. We, uh, I would have to say I would have to say Malik Malik Ellison. He's he's he, he's a young guy. You know he's coming in. He's strong. He got a he got the body, his physicality, and he's working on his own. You know when you see a guy on a Sunday, a freshman, getting up shots by himself on a Sunday as a freshman, you're looking like, wow, this guy's really hungry. He he he's want to work and he's getting better. And just knowing that and seeing that man, him compete every day in practice, and he's guarding me, telling me he's going to lock me up. Whoa, he take, he, he take a, lock you up. He, hey, he take a lot of pride in that. It's confidence. And that's how I was as a freshman. So. I can't knock him for that. Uh, I love it. I love it. Wow, confidence of, of Dad Purvis Elvis and uh, Ellison, perhaps, too. Well, Duran, yep. thank you so much for joining us here. Good luck to you. We'll be watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Duran Johnson here, the grad student transferring from Pittsburgh here at St. John's Basketball Media Day.